since its inception, UN Habitat has focused on meaningfully engaging young people in all of its programs. In acknowledging the importance of the youth and the vital role they play in development, Member States passed a resolution during the 21st session of the Governing Council, calling on UN Habitat's Executive Director, Dr. Anna Tibaijuka, to set up a special fund to support youth-led urban development initiatives. We have to work in, in close partnership with, uh, with uh, youth organizations uh, in the South. And, um, we feel that we feel that UN Habitat is um, a very important and valuable uh, uh, contact point uh, for us. Um, uh, also, in creating partnerships with uh, uh, grassroots or urban grassroots organizations. Championed by Norway. The resolution not only meant that young people would receive the financial and technical support that their initiatives desperately needed, but it also signified the mainstreaming of youth issues in the Habitat agenda. This fund will allow young people worldwide to proactively create a better future for themselves and it also aims to advance the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals. Youth-led organizations working on innovative and sustainable projects that can impact and improve their communities are all eligible for Opportunities Fund grants. Um, the UN Habitat website has detailed guidelines on, on the criteria for application but basically there are two levels of grants. You can apply for a small grant which is 5,000 US dollars or a large grant which is up to 25,000 US dollars. And they're seed grants given to young people who are interested in promoting community initiatives at a grassroots level. The advisory committee develops the criteria for the operation of the fund and fundamentally mainstreams youth issues in the work of UN Habitat. The advisory committee also advises and makes recommendations on budgets, audits and monitoring and evaluation reports. They meet at least once a year. The steering committee is comprised of members of the UN Habitat Interdivisional Committee and two youth representatives from the Youth Advisory Board. The steering committee was established as the technical oversight body for the fund. They review the shortlisted fund applicants and make recommendations on the implementation of the fund and assess the overall impact and effectiveness of the program. UN Habitat not only seeks to support community level initiatives, it also recognizes that advances at a policy level must also involve research on youth-led development. For this reason, research shall be undertaken on the projects supported by the fund. The knowledge from this research shall be used to strengthen youth-related policies on a local, national and international level. Very happy and this training will help us, will help the youth so much to to come into the business world and also in the job market. Over 13,000 applications have been downloaded by potential grant recipients. With over 200 million young people living in poverty, there is a clear need to meaningfully engage and support the youth. The Youth Opportunities Fund is certainly a step in that direction. It recognizes the need, the necessity of placing youth at the centre of their own development.